This is an example solution to one of the Hardy-Weinberg allele frequency practice problems from sciencepimer.com. The question we're going to answer, we're going to solve is, given a population of rabbits whose ear length is controlled by a single gene and the long-eared gene exhibits complete dominance, if a population of 128 rabbits contains 15 short-eared individuals, what proportion of the population is homozygous dominant? So here we'll transition the question over to a, 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 a page where we can work out the calculations and just do a bit of review on how to solve these problems. This question has the sort of typical Hardy-Weinberg structure, uh, which is that we're given a trait that has a dominant phenotype, and we're also provided information about the structure of the population. We have enough information in the way the question is structured to find one component of the Hardy-Weinberg system. It's usually Q squared. Using this information, we're asked to find some other value or some other one of the other values within the Hardy-Weinberg system. And these values are P, Q, P squared, Q squared, or 2PQ. So some review, in this situation we have two alleles, little l and big L. All these parameters relate this in the following way. P equals the frequency of big L alleles. Q equals the frequency of little l alleles. Since these are there are two alleles, they must sum to one, which means P plus Q equals one. And we also have the Hardy-Weinberg equation, which says that Q squared plus 2PQ plus P squared equals 1. And with this relationship, we know that P squared equals the frequency of homozygous dominant individuals. 2PQ equals the frequency of heterozygo heterozygous individuals. And Q squared equals the frequency of homozygous recessive. So with this background, we can go ahead and approach this question. What we see here is that we're given the number of short-eared individuals, and given that the long-eared gene is, com exhibits complete dominance, we know that the short-eared individuals are homozygous recessive, which means we know Q2, or Q squared, rather. So we have Q squared, which is the genotype frequency of the homozygous recessives. We know there's 15 of them. So if 15 of 128 are homozygous recessive, that's the proportion of the population is 0.117. So we know Q squared equals 0.117. So now we know what we have. The question then becomes, what are we looking for? And in this case, we want the homozygous dominance. Homozygous dominant equals P squared. So now we know what we want, or what we have and what we want, and we can come up with a plan. So the plan in this case is going to say, given that we know the homozygous recessive frequency, Q squared, we can find Q. With Q, we can find P. And with P, we can square P to get P squared. And so we'll get to P squared, which is the value we're looking for. So let's step into this. Q equals the square root of Q squared. So it's the square root of 0 0.117. Pull a calculator in for this one. 0 0.117 square root equals 0 0.342. So now we have Q. We can find P because P equals 1 minus Q. And we get that by rearranging the P plus Q equals 1. So 1 minus 0 0.342 equals 600, 0.658. And so now we have P. And we can go from P to P squared by simply multiplying P by P. So P times P is 0 0.658 times 0 0.658, which gives us 0 
Switch back over to the website, put 0.43 in as an answer, press submit, and after a moment we see that we are correct. The proportion of the population that is homozygous dominant is 0.43.